All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video and back with an unboxing. Uh, this is the uh, Pentangle box set that contains their first uh, six albums. And this is on uh, Cherry Red uh, Records, so we're going to uh, unbox this. A uh, band I've just recently been getting into, a band I've always heard about, uh, was not that familiar with their music, a great uh, UK band. But recently, I was able to find their first album on vinyl. And uh, I posted this on my Instagram page. And you can find me on Instagram. Uh, James Cottle 519 and uh, I think it was pretty green vinyl guy who asked if this was a reissue and no this is not a reissue I don't know how early a copy of this is but uh, it's in great shape and uh, yeah really uh, getting into this band and I thought well let's uh, pick up the vinyl box set because I like uh, very much like the first album kind of a fusion of jazz and uh, folk and this on the reprise label. Don't know if you can see that there. A little bit of dust on that record there. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, Pentangle's uh, first album. And that one came out, I believe, was it in like 1968, I want to say. So there is a box set of CDs uh, available. And I, I, saw, I didn't even know that this was available. Uh, this one first came out in 2017 on Cherry Red uh, Records. And Cherry Red is really becoming a fast favorite of mine. Uh, it's a, sort of a reissue uh, series uh, where they spotlight different different genres of music, different artists, and they're always really nice box sets. Uh, you know, they're usually kind of nice and compact, nothing uh, too gigantic, but chock full of great information and great mastering. So this spotlights their uh, first, um, I believe, six albums. Uh, the Pentangle, Sweet Child, Basket of Light, Cruel Sister, Reflection, and Solomon's Solomon Seal. And uh, their, their second album was actually a double album. So disc one on the second album was live at the Festival Hall, and then the second album was a studio album. John Peel was definitely a fan uh, of this band, so let's, uh, without further ado, take a look inside. As I mentioned, this did come out in uh, 2017, but I understand that they uh, have uh, reprinted this one, so that's why this is uh, available, because often with box sets, uh, boy, when they come out, they sometimes, not always, but sometimes, uh, tend to disappear quite quickly. And I saw this on a, a YouTube channel called Now Spinning Magazine, and I'll leave a link uh, to his channel where he takes a look at uh, some classic box sets uh, that he has uh, in his collection. And he's got some fantastic box sets, uh, ones that I, <laughs> I don't have, but I'm just, oh my gosh. I think there, he opened uh, a, one called Harvest Festival that takes a look at the Harvest uh, record label, great UK label, and oh, what a terrific looking box set. So, okay, so this is, uh, and he has uh, recently uh, looked at this one too. Uh, so th here we go. So as you can see, it's very much uh, similar, this cover to the uh, first album cover. And here are uh, the albums. And what's great about this, not only are the uh, CDs all available, the first six albums, but a plethora of bonus tracks on each disc, which is just great. And yet arrived with just a slight little ding there, but I can live with that. That's not. And just a nice little uh, set here. And then it simply slides out like this. There they have that. And then nice little nice little case there and it looks like uh, again we'll take a look at the booklet and again with these cherry red records like really comprehensive booklets again they're not huge or anything like that but they're very well written um, and I think did I hear this one has something like is it 10,000 words or more in this one that that might be might be a stretch but uh, here is how the album sit uh, inside the case like that all nicely presented yeah and I in terms of uh, CD box sets I really these are pretty nice. They sit on the shelf nicely. You can find them easily. Uh, quite, quite nice. Now, I guess these are not all um, gatefolds. So here is the uh, first album uh, that I showed you. Slightly different, uh, slightly different look to the first album. So this is simply a uh, sleeve. There is no spine on the sleeve uh, for this one. And there you have uh, the back there. And kind of a nice look to the uh, albums do like that okay so there you have a uh, disc one and uh, let's uh, move on to a disc two as i say i've really only had a chance to hear the first album so this is disc two which was a double album so you have that and take a look at there 
and uh, nice i like the way the uh, that each uh, label is, is is matching the the records that sort of thing so there you have that so the one is a live album and then the second is a studio album and then we move along to uh the metangle or the, the pentangle the, the pentacle sorry about that the pentacle and basket of light i had a feeling i would pronounce the band's name wrong at least once or twice in the course of this but lots of bonus tracks on each of these and uh, carrying on with uh, cruel sister and very different uh, album covers each one completely different and there you have that and like that and moving right along without further ado uh, uh, pentangle and reflection Very nice, like that. And last but not least, uh, I believe this was their debut on uh, Reprise. Now, I could be wrong on that, but uh, this is uh, Solomon's Seal. And again, a simple sleeve on this one, no gatefold or anything. And uh, very nice on the label. Okay, so there you have uh, the CDs. I'm just gonna pop these uh, just over here and uh, we'll uh, take a look as best we can at the booklet again quite a quite thick booklet not huge by any stretch but having said that lots of uh, information and lots of vintage photographs of course it starts off with all of the uh, the credits on the albums but then we get into some of the essays reproductions of course of the uh, newspaper clippings but yeah, it's a band I'm definitely getting into, and I haven't had a chance to listen to too, too much of their work. One of those bands, you know, those those UK bands that uh, heard about but haven't had a chance to, to really sit down and explore. But uh, again, with these uh, box sets, again, these cherry red, uh, this cherry red label, I'm really enjoying. They've got a lot of different uh, compilation uh, CD box sets. They're often like just either like three CD uh, sets, but uh, they're generally well priced and uh, really deep dives uh, sometimes into uh, you know UK psych pop or UK blues or, or, or different genres, certainly folk, psychedelic folk. Um, yeah, so they're they're a lot of fun to explore. And they often fill up the CDs uh, completely so they don't uh, they don't jip you that way, if you will. Or shortchange you. Okay, so there you have the, the booklet there. And I do love when it's old. Not just newspaper articles, but I do love the old uh, newspaper ads uh, for the bands. Just a few more pictures here to go. And just about done here. And whoops, here we go. And there we have it. So uh, really looking forward to uh, getting into this, uh, the albums, Pentangle. Thanks so much for dropping by. Take care. Bye-bye.